So with iOS 26 beta 4, CarPlay did get a couple of new updates and possibly some other little bugs introduced along the way, as well as new wallpapers and wallpapers that were removed from older builds. First things first, I do want to call out a change finally that came back after last beta's issues. The calendar app now does show the correct date instead of just a generic calendar icon, which is good to see and it loads up perfectly well and works fine. Honda does have an issue here with CarPlay not reflecting the proper image and icon, but that's not a big deal either way. It is just one call out I wanted to make. If you do happen to have a Civic or an Accord or one of Honda's vehicles and you're running this beta, don't expect to be able to see that exactly well. One of the changes from beta three to beta four is that we do not have that side-by-side -side widget panel anymore. Unfortunately, we are only seeing the single panel here. Not necessarily a good change. I liked it when it had them side by side, but unfortunately, currently, that is not the case. And then jumping into settings, you can see right off the bat what we had pulled up. There are some new wallpapers to select from that you can take a look at right here that are all based on those semicircles from iOS 26 betas that we've seen showcasing just different colors for the same type background. And then if you don't like any of these, you do have simple black, kind of a gray, and some kind of a dark goldish burgundy color. I'm not even sure what you want to call that. Almost looks like doo-doo brown, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of that color. Um, but yeah, you can select each one, whichever one you want. But again, unfortunately, there are no other options. These are what you are now going to be restricted to. And they do change a little bit depending on the lighting. So that's fine. Keep that in mind. I just did want to show you that nonetheless. And then you still do have all of your other modes. Driving focus is still here if you want to activate while you're driving. Announce messages. Your appearance if you want always dark or automatic. And if you do pick always dark, always show dark maps. We'll leave this on automatic. Customize icons. This again is kind of tweaked a little bit thanks to liquid glass. As you can see already around the perimeter here, it does show you the icon outlines which was definitely not visible in the prior beta. And then when you click on clear as the actual look for liquid glass, it does seem a little more defined and outlined to me personally. In light mode, dark mode looks great. And then of course you can put them on auto. I'm gonna leave it on default for now. And then that will do that. Customize icons. Talks about that. Wallpapers, we've talked about that now. Display is another good one. I really do like the smart display zoom. CarPlay will be automatically optimized for your vehicle's display. As you can see, it's turned on and it does allow me to fit much more data on this display than if it was turned off. I will turn it off just to show you really quick how blown up everything gets. Just takes a few seconds and you can see how much larger it gets. This doesn't fit quite as much data here. I do like a data dense display. So I like seeing it just like that. Show album art now playing. All of this has not changed at all. Accessibility features, Apple Intelligence and Siri. Suggestions and dashboard, automatically send messages. Show apps behind Siri. Live activities is a nice addition here from iOS 26 to be able to see what is going on for an app that supports live activities. And then silent mode. That is it. Still no crazy changes here nonetheless. I do like though, if you are in the music app, just that extra little glassiness in the look where you can see everything has slightly redesigned looks. And then one thing too that you can do, thanks to iOS 26 here, is if you do have an album that you like and you do want to pin this or have a pinned album on your phone, it will show you right up above here for easy access to get to. And then obviously you have your Siri search as well on the top and every other feature has remained the same from the prior betas. So really, this is all about the look again. Liquid glass is back. It does look a little bit more translucent uh, and transparent. It's really kind of a good balance here. But that is it. Not much else is new in CarPlay in this beta. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Now that Apple has released the public beta to any registered developer and public beta user, a lot of people are going to be using this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did Apple do right by CarPlay here? Or are there any new features you're hoping they add? Thanks for watching.
We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.